how to sell a single brick for $18,406. More precisely, not even a brick, but it's not so successful image. What does Bitcoin have to do with it? And how did one picture bring back the NFT madness to the world of cryptocurrencies? It all comes down to this brick has been registered on the Bitcoin blockchain using the Ordinals protocol. It allows for recording different information on Satoshis, the smallest unit of Bitcoin. Ordinals assigns a serial number to each Satoshi and tracks them during transactions. This protocol makes individual Satoshis unique by attaching additional data to them. Essentially, ordinals are smart contracts for Bitcoin, and their emergence signals an impending revolution in the world of cryptocurrencies. After all, we all remember how Ethereum's smart contracts changed the game, right? While Bitcoin used to be exclusively a currency for transactions, ordinals have taken it beyond investing in money transfers. At first glance, ordinals are very similar to traditional NFTs, but they have a few key differences. NFTs are created using smart contracts on blockchains like Ethereum, Solana, BNB Smart Chain. And sometimes the assets they represent are stored elsewhere. On the other hand, ordinals are directly recorded on individual satoshis, which are then included in Bitcoin blockchain blocks. Therefore, they do not require a sidechain or a separate token, while in the other networks, you risk receiving an empty link instead of your NFT token. Ordinals in this case are absolutely reliable. Ordinals are changing the world of blockchain art by offering a completely new way of storing information on Bitcoin transactions. They have added another use case to the network and increased the number of non-zero addresses, meaning wallets holding the minimum amount of Bitcoins to historical heights. The Bitcoin enthusiast community has had mixed reactions to the Ordinals protocol. Some have noted that the Ordinals have increased network activity and paid miners higher fees. Others are convinced that cluttering the Bitcoin blockchain with unnecessary information is not desirable, as increased fees and transactions waiting times would affect all users and create chaos in the blockchain. Recently, Ordinals developers introduced a method called recursive inscriptions. Each Ordinal can store up to 4 megabytes of data directly on the Bitcoin blockchain. For a long time, this has been the maximum capacity. However, with the help of recursive inscriptions, developers can now create a complex network of interconnected data sources, which means that ordinals no longer have to exist as closed bunkers with a 4 megabytes limit. Recursive inscription is a sophisticated mechanism that extracts data from existing inscriptions and uses them in new ways. By linking data through a series of calls, developers have discovered the potential to run software entirely on the network. This, of course, has tremendous potential for interaction within the Bitcoin network. The use of recursive inscriptions allows developers to save on fees by utilizing only small amounts of code in subsequent inscriptions for programmatic image generation. Recursive inscriptions have enabled the creation of 3D graphics on the Bitcoin blockchain that are less than one kilobyte in size. So it can be used in complex 3D video games fully on chain on Bitcoin. Moreover, this opens up new possibilities for creating an internal internet within the Bitcoin network. Traditional marketplaces and search engines can serve as Bitcoin web browsers, enabling users to browse the blockchain and explore its dynamic ecosystem. But is everything so rosy? Bitcoin NFTs are a new and still underdeveloped sector of the market. The risk of scams is higher here than in traditional NFTs, and any interactions currently rely solely on trust. Since everything happens off exchange, the level of transparency is very low, and running a Bitcoin node is required for mining. Protecting oneself against scams under these conditions is very challenging. 
Additionally, trading through OTC channels gives speculators greater freedom, increasing likelihood of unfavorable deals. Evaluating even an approximate price range is almost impossible due to the absence of aggregators and trading platforms. The price of your ordinal is set subjectively and can vary from platform to platform or even from user to user. Nevertheless, ordinals have once again sparked discussions about Bitcoin and created a hype around it that digital gold hasn't seen in a long time. What do you think about ordinals? Do they drag Bitcoin down or on the contrary, lift it up? I'm looking forward to your comments.